you're not familiar, Ansgar's been on the channel before. Uh, do you want to just introduce yourself a, a little bit so people uh, know a context of who you are? Yeah. No worries. Uh, yeah, I'm just from the German YouTube space. Um, mm -hmm. We've been just uh, cracking 6,000 subscribers right now. Based. And yeah, yeah, it's good. it's working. It's working well. There's a lot of drama going on in the, in the German community space as well. But oh, damn! <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, uh, the English videos aren't getting that many views, so we decided on like staying German in our German content uh, mm -hmm. for now. But yeah, I felt like talking about it. And who was doing a live stream? It was you. So yeah. Okay. Well. Ba okay. Well. Yeah. So you told me that you've been a fan of cosmic skeptic since 10k is that right yeah it's it's been a long time like uh i really got into the like atheist youtube space for him and yeah just going out of religion uh in general mm -hmm. um so yeah it's it's been kind of a thing for me for a long time and yeah it's just sad to see like i'm i'm really surprised i mean you aren't surprised no and like I, I've heard your reasoning, and it really makes sense about uh, Michaela having like influenced him. But mm. just, just like I've been vegan since he made his meat meat eaters case on veganism, and mm. I've seen so many videos on like ex vegans like talking about how they have nutrient deficiencies. Yeah, which seems like total bullocks. Always like always at face, like always take it at face value, and about like all the evidence that we have that you can be healthy on a vegan diet. And it's usually like never really about being healthy through animal products. And this seems like such a stretch. Like, I really want to believe that he's just kidding. Like, he's just... <laughs> yeah, this is just a joke. It all up. It's just like, yeah. stir up more views for veganism. Yeah, maybe maybe we've been had. Yeah, for me, I, I yeah, I really think Michaela Peterson has been gaslighting him and got her demonic demonic tendons or tendrils onto him and like has because when i read some of this I, i've said it before but it sounds like michaela's words yeah it does you know does. when you get into like uh you see people they get into relationships that they really shouldn't be in and then instead of their words you hear the words of their their partner and you're like oh no they're in they're in deep it's like that yeah, but I think like with veganism, that's such a strange thing because like this is like a serious ethical position. Yep. And and the way he res like represented it before just seems incongruent with the fact what he's presenting right now. It's like mm -hmm. it, it just doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, like from a philosophical perspective, like what he has put out in like recent months, I could like somewhat conjure up a, a estimation why he changed his mind on veganism, but like just, just uh, con concerning his viewpoints on ethics right now. Um, but this would just be somewhat of an assumption on my part, but yeah, I can just share what I think might be the reason for him philosophically mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. be no longer vegan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, I feel like it's because uh, you, I think you you aren't a utilitarian. You're like more no. in the animal rights space. Um, yeah, I'm a I'm a threshold deontologist. I think. Yeah, um, that's totally fine. Like I'm a utilitarian, and I, I still think like you can be like you still gotta be vegan even if you are utilitarian. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like I I, I think it's maybe easier to for a utilitarian to like worm their way out of being vegan. Um, but yeah, it's, it's easier to get up. Yeah, I, I would agree on that. But but still like usually the arguments are really bad like utilitarian arguments against veganism are really really fucking bad yeah you have to you have to go to some really like evil evil places to make that justification as okay. many have so, <laughs> like we, so. we don't know yet we don't know yet but mm -hmm. yeah since, since like as far as i'm concerned i think he isn't a utilitarian anymore and that that comes from one of his like meta ethical uh standpoints on i think emotivism uh the viewpoint that um ethical viewpoints are just uh emotionally um like are actually just emotional statements and i think this could have like a psychological effect on a person like believing okay uh me not wanting to hurt animals is actually just a feeling and we can't just build up a moral system based on feelings. So really, right. 
what veganism is about is just just like feeling bad for the animals but it's not actually like something uh that is normatively bad in a sense then what do the, do then what does this person say about uh the way that we view like hum like human suffering or human killing like how do they th contend with that because wouldn't that I be the same it would be the same but it would be just admitting of a fact that you are an emotional being and you just like it's a kind of pick and choose morality kind of type you're just saying yeah that's the way i feel and therefore i can justify whatever it's more like a descriptive um kind of meta ethical theory it's just like yeah people have certain emotions and from that they extrapolate uh, moral precepts and like him recognizing this I i'm saying recognizing mm -hmm. i don't believe in motivism but uh him recognizing this might influence his decision it, not it be just sounds like some sort of like philosophical cop-out yeah i'm an emotional being it's like it's to me it's like the philosophical equivalent of like a partner who's like oh yeah i'm imperfect this is why i'm horrible to you sometimes so you right. can't tell me i'm just human though and humans are emotional <laughs> it's just so ridiculous <laughs> I, I don't like emotivism. I, I mean, no. that, that's. I mean, in some cases, you can argue that that like ethical positions are emotionally. Yeah, uh, you can argue that absolutely. Yeah. But like in general, but I, I can't confirm that this is the case for Alex. I'm just putting out that that's yeah. the 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 thing I kind of like, like that I think he got across in um, the like the last year or so. So yeah, that that seems like to coincide with uh, not being vegan anymore. But it still could just be like. Michaela, uh, kind of <laughs> gaslighting him. Too. Yeah, I think um, I really think so. Just the way he's written that, that just doesn't look like something he's written. It's like someone else's words coming out of his mouth. So I think he's been partially possessed by the demon, and her yeah. tendrils ha are very like far in his orifices, and there may be some saving him. But I don't know. The demon has got far in. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, in the in the conversation with Michaela, I think he seemed also to be more skeptical about the like scientific research that yeah that's done. that's what i said that's uh, that's what i was worried about like i wouldn't have expected that from him and then i yeah. heard that at the time when I, I was like responding with perspective philosophy and i was like this is not this is too cosmically skeptic yeah too cosmically skeptic yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah like do, do you remember like any of his like positions like from before um that made you think that this was coming or, or were you just fully shocked because you did say you were quite shocked I, I was fully shocked like right even like okay the thing is like uh, my first dis disillusionment with alex was on the free will question because i'm really invested in the question of free will like i i really enjoy um like philosophy in that sense and i just don't agree with him on the um philosophical viewpoints of determinism mm -hmm. i talked in, uh, about it on vegan campout and yeah i haven't really gotten a proper uh answer on on the question i was asking from the like meta ethical viewpoint but that's besides the point um yeah mm -hmm. it's <sighs> well i feel like i feel like the the thing about emotivism was the thing that really shocked me in in, in the first place because like i felt like for me personally like utilitarianism like really is morally based in a sense more than emotivism at least and in some way i can accept threshold deontology like i know there's some like uh, really weird scenarios w which just feel ethically wrong so i get people um, get people who are, are like threshold deontologists over yeah i think that was the first moment where where i thought okay there's like something weird going on uh with alex alex's ethics and yeah, potentially it might also be the the free will question. Like if we actually don't have free will, we don't have a free will to decide to be vegan or not to be vegan. And it kind of like puts a futility on all the ethical actions that we could take because we can only take one ethical action if there is no free will, which is kind of a different point, but that might also be an influencing factor. However, I, don't see him making this point because I, um, yeah, yeah. I, I tried to make a video about it. it was really, uh, I didn't like. It was really bad, to be honest. Like I, my 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 um, editing skills are pretty crap right now. So 
yeah, still working on it, but yeah. I okay, feel... I, I will. I could help you with that if you wanted. I'm <laughs> helping a few people with editing now. So. I, got, I got better. I got better. And, you, oh, um, you got better. Okay, all right. Yeah, and I got a friend who's animating now. So oh, kind of that I don't know. I'm uh, starting the channel, so. Oh, yeah. cool. Okay, yeah. We need more people making the channels, as we said earlier. Like, it's. Yeah. We, we get like pissed off and upset that people are leaving and then there's all these videos like there's always a wave of like oh, I'm no longer vegan blah 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 but we don't see the people who are like going vegan today we don't we don't see the people who saw slaughterhouse footage for the first time or yeah. made a vow that they're never gonna do it again and who will be like influencing you know other people in the future so you just gotta yeah. keep going like I'm gonna keep posting stuff every day and you know young brutal uh, vegan who I'm speaking to now I, I've put it in the chat multiple times but people didn't clock that I was linking you <laughs> um yeah like you you post a lot of stuff it is in German um yeah. but you do sometimes um you'll it'll be it'll be in German but it'll have like English subtitles and stuff which I think is yeah, probably we tried. the we best tried. yeah but but in the future like I'm, I'm I have a second channel but I won't reference it now because it's like just in the in its infancy but maybe mm -hmm. later Okay. I could talk more about it, but um, besides yeah. that, like, what do you think about him, like, going on this tirade on, yeah, um, I don't believe that personal actions are really helping that much, because I, I feel like it's it's such a appeal to futility. Uh, yeah, then, I think... Like, why is he doing that? I think, if so, this is a psychoanalysis, and obviously I do not, I cannot read his mind. So what yeah. I think has happened is I think Michaela has really spoken to him and got in his head. Then he's not thinking, oh, you know what, yeah, fuck the animals. That's not what's happening. I think he's really, like, got a bit worried about his health and is now trying to justify the futility in being vegan in the first place as much as he can. So that it's like, oh, well, I'm unhealthy and like really like this change isn't going to really matter anyway. So I should probably like look out for my health and do this thing. So he's now getting it, like trying to warp it so that it's not really that big of a thing if he makes that change. People do that a lot. Like a lot of people like it's so it's either that or what i said earlier if he was an activist and he's experienced some sort of like burnout like you become apathetic or indifferent to the you know the world around you just to kind of like feel better about it but the more i think about it the more i, I think he, he like michaela's got into his head and he's trying really hard now to make what he, the changes he's making feel morally right Right. And of, of course, if, if it doesn't make any difference at all, then what would be the point in taking the action? There wouldn't really be much of a point if it absolutely patently made no difference whatsoever. It would be kind of hard to, you know, make that change yourself if it literally was going to have no consequence at all. Um, but that's not the case. That's not true, that it doesn't have a difference. And if, if people, as I said earlier, there is uh, this paper called Against Inefficacy Objections. And if you want a good coverage of that, uh, Dr. Avi does it in two parts in a, a video. And I found that very helpful. Um, but basically, there's, it, it, there's this kind of like threshold purchase where it's not just like, oh, every time you buy an animal product, an animal dies. It's, it's, there's this threshold where you, you could be the difference between a few animals getting killed or a hundred animals getting killed uh, in, in those purchases. Uh, so definitely check that out, I'd say. What, what's your thought on it? On threshold pur purchases? No, sorry, on the, the concept of him appealing to uh, futility. futility. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I want, like... I, I'm trying to think from his perspective, like what argument could Alex give to like argue that it's futile? Like since, I mean, he knows that usually you like at least consume 11 animals without counting uh, fish and like a normal omnivorous diet. Mm -hmm. So like he would have to deny the demand side of economics yeah. to, to like, I don't know. So, I think maybe, maybe, maybe what he's maybe what his uh, trail thought is that he his the suffering that he endures right now to 
to like have these health issues is just not worth the effort of the animals. Perhaps that is a thought that he ha has, like, like that his, his effort isn't enough, but like, I, I, I can't, like, I, I can't affirm this position. Like it's, it's so weird to me. Like it's. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if basically he just had a pretty crap diet, probably had a yeah. crap diet before he was vegan. Then Michaela's come along and gone, oh my God, you don't look well. You got to be <laughs> careful with this vegan thing. It's really going to like, it's going to do you some real like disservice down the line and yeah. he's gone you know what oh my god I, it is oh god i don't feel well oh it must be veganism I, <sighs> amazing I, I, I can't like I, that's so so weird because i can't imagine him going into that mindset just just from my personal experience like seeing ex-vegans arguing for their health positions seems so so weird to me like like how how could a person manipulate someone into affirming such a position? Like he People do it all the time. I know it's it's so weird to think. Like the the problem is like it's hard for me because I, I know that I'm more morally driven than like socially driven and I'm yeah. very like it, though I'm kind of agreeable like if i think something's wrong i will just say i do not care like but we've seen multiple times in like uh, sociological experiments and stuff like that even when someone thinks something's clearly wrong it there is be. there is some sort of like you know difficulty yeah. yeah in trying to convey that so even even the strongest of like i'm sure there would be times maybe like where i'm not feeling it i'm not ready to you know say oh god that's wrong i like maybe i would fall for that i don't know but it's easier than like it might seem but you, yeah. we all want to think that we would we'd be better than that and i hope we would like this is not good enough do you think alex is coming back to veganism um if i had to predict no not for five years not for five years because yeah five what, years. What, what one thing i'm anticipating is like depending on how the vegan community reacts onto him, it will push him further down the anti-vegan route or actually like in being in, him being in between. And for now, all the comments ha so far have been pretty reasonable. People were pretty nice to Alex. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the people were like pro, at least arguing for a pro-vegan position. Like, yeah, have you talked to a nutritionist? Maybe... Um, um, like your YouTube friends can help you out, like um, Earthling Eds, like they, they know each other. So I, I imagine that there is a potential um, just for him, like getting into the conversation with others again and maybe getting back. Mm -hmm. I just hope that's the case. But yeah, if, if there's like a, like a strong opposition towards him, I think like he could be pushed into just uh, taking a break from vegan community yeah and just quickly to soytheus your your tip did show up i've just i just turned tts off when guests are on because they can't hear uh the tts so i'll play it like i'll play it um after the guest has gone so don't worry it did, it did show up on screen i saw it but you, thank you, can you. Play it up if you want, want to okay uh, uh let me you won't hear it so just bear with but i'll put it up and i'll Marvel salad. <laughs> let's see soytheus the lad tipped one pound Blood simping and waffling at the same time. Right, Soithius said blood simping and waffling at the same time. I don't know who Soithius is talking about, though. Are you talking about me? Am I the blood? Is Anska the blood? Or are you talking about Al Alex? Who are you talking about? <laughs> Can you put it in chat, Soithius? I'm confused. Thank you, though, for the tip. I appreciate that. Oh, Alex, yeah. Uh, <laughs> simping and waffling at the same time. Um, what you mean with the Michaela Peterson video? I think so. Yeah. I was confused then. I was like, who's blood? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the tips, Oedius. Can we get some salads in the chat? Um, yeah. What I think regarding... Um, uh, yeah, if a tip comes up, then I'll just let you know that it's come. You won't be able to hear it. Um, I just feel bad if people... <laughs> you can't hear. Um, yeah, I... I think there's going to be so much support for him, like without a doubt, and there will be mean comments. And it, 
it just takes a certain strength of character to just ignore those comments um i don't know i i'm just so used to just horrific comments every day of my life that i can just switch it off to a degree but obviously there is yeah every day i'm just getting told uh, i look like a piece of shit i am a piece of shit yeah it's pretty classic um so yeah i don't know i'm I'm just kind of like numb to it at this point and i'm sure he gets so many comments i can imagine being an atheist like uh, like it, though it's more acceptable now there's still a lot of huge religious community who have a like absolute hatred oh yeah for, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like um he once had a conversation not not, not with a christian but with an uh, um muslim mm-hmm. um, this was like a huge deal like he manipulated the video footage and like half of um muslim youtube was on his ass like just like trying to roll him so he got a lot of flack um for that and yeah just actually like yeah i, I rem- remember that pretty well and was like i think he's used to that yeah uh, and i think that the vegans are just, just so maybe like the thing i'm really hoping um yeah muhammad hib job muhammad hib oh muhammad hib job yeah. he, he has a massive community doesn't he, know, he yeah, yeah he's one of the, the the famous religious speakers yeah yeah he's really annoying to be honest <laughs> i've heard some of his debates i'm like oh, nah sorry yeah, yeah. yeah. no i'm yeah. not i'm not religious today no <laughs> i'm not falling for it <laughs> yeah but, yeah anyhow um yeah just i just remember that uh that conversation so yeah i think he's used to that and Maybe, like, just hypothesize that um, Alex is just, like, kidding with us and he's just doing a social experiment. I think it would be perfect to show that vegans aren't, like, these revengeful people that will, like, all shit on him because he's now a non-vegan. You can see all over the board, like, almost all the comments are supportive. Yeah. Like, we help you. Like, that. that's so amazing. Like, I, I love that the vegan community actually showed in the alex case that they can be supportive uh mm-hmm. in some cases maybe too supportive but that's just a thing where where i'm saying okay um this would be a perfect time for alex to be like oh yeah no i'm actually vegan i just want to say uh, say here vegans aren't as obnoxious as you think yeah so many so many people like uh, so many vegans will reach out and want help if he turned around tomorrow and he was like this is an experiment i think people would be like annoyed that they got bamboozled and you know but then it'd be like okay or whatever like there's so much leniency all pe- all vegans want is for people to just stop paying for animals to be stabbed like we, we will go like i literally would go out my way I, like if if i were outreaching to someone in the street and they like said oh you know what i, I just don't know like uh, like what to get i'd happily go shopping with them like i just a stranger i'd be like Let, let's go I'd, or I'll buy, i'd buy them something like right, just like right. the best fucking chocolate they could have in their life like yeah. just because i want people to stop doing that and so many like vegans are like that um and yeah, it's a very supportive community. Yeah, there's some a-holes, but that's what you're gonna get in a community of people. And yeah, as you say, there's there's so many supportive people, some maybe too supportive. And there are gonna be people who are upset, but like when we know what we know, like you, you've got to expect that, and he is expecting that. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be a lot of support where maybe, you know, if this were another social social justice movement would there be as much support i don't i don't think so <laughs> i really don't think so to be honest with you if i'm honest yeah, yeah. We would... like in the youtube space people are really quick to judge so yeah that's, i think it's it's a perfect yeah. example mm-hmm. uh since you just mentioned like buying people food like random people food it just rem- it reminds me of joey carstrom like you know, this will shout out about his videos like with this one guy just going through the supermarket and oh yeah and he his, brings like, him to his house it or something yeah Yeah. that's so cute like Mm -hmm. i I love the videos like it really shows okay we're like invested in trying to help people to go Mm -hmm. vegan if they really want to yeah if they really want to then we're we're like wow if someone's like yeah i'll do it right now we're like what okay i'll show you like i'll show you literally right now and i'll be your best friend and we can like it's very much like that so yeah i don't know i don't know this yeah i don't think the support isn't there or anything i i just think he's been with the wrong crew and you know there was a bit of like confirmation bias because he didn't really want to do it or he felt left out with another group of people with various social creatures you know what like 
that there, there have been like I, if I were more you know reliant on you know social uh status or something then i talk about something else that's much easier to talk about i could see why people like people like vegans just get endlessly bullied and gaslit and you know treat like crap just because we yeah. are vocal about something that we're passionate about so i could see why that would ha have issues or pose issues for other people um just lucky for me that i, I just don't give a shit <laughs> like whatever You're lucky for you yeah lucky for yeah. me <laughs> I, I usually i just avoid since we're a group of people who like work on this channel i just try to avoid uh reading the comment section <laughs> though our section is pretty good to to be to be fair oh yeah. i i i go to war like the other day i was <laughs> ill and i was like right i'm not gonna upload today so what did i do the entire day i just argued with people the entire day like i because one of my videos how do you get the energy for that i like, don't I, it's just an impulse I'm just sick of it. Like, totally sick of it it's my uh, probable autistic nature so you know I, I i think it's my special interest to be honest with you i just can't i'm just i can't help it like i'm yeah. i am the stereotypical vegan who will not shut up it's it. <laughs> i mean if they're they're interesting arguments like i love to converse with people for hours but usually the, like mm -hmm. the longer you you are vegan the more bullshit is repeated so oh you hear it every day yeah but then yeah. like as someone like debug your brain says um a really important thing in advocacy and i i do do this is you know the as soon as you hear an argument just forget it forget the argument like remember the rebuttal just forget right. forget the argument and, and pretend you've heard it for the first time and be like oh wow i'm so curious <laughs> wow <laughs> wow crop deaths yeah, though like oh that. my god circle of life oh, crazy i know a film that's like that yeah, I think that works really well because um, I remember doing a um, school presentation. Um, actually, the, like I, I had some. We've cut out. Are you with us? Just putting out as a disclaimer. Oh, sorry. What did you? What was the disclaimer? Because you cut out for like a good five um, seconds. Oh yeah, the disclaimer was that um, I did some. Like I, I had some major blunders and. And describing the ethical theories, mm -hmm. uh, which I tried to correct afterwards. However, I remember talking to these students and just like, like, I asked the class at the end, like, okay, just give me your arguments, like, uh, like shoot wild, like what, what, what speaks against going vegan, and just like engaging with people and just asking them, like, okay, interesting arguments, steal man their position, and then show the rebuttal because when people feel my, like more included, like going heads on in my in my experience at least, uh, leaves a more bitter taste in people's mouths. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that was a really interesting way to go about it. Mm -hmm. but yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, the Richard who's in the chat, yeah, <laughs> you say don't read the chat. It's like, I've read that I've made a mistake. I've, I've made a mistake because I see someone saying one more vegan has left the cult and uh, you know what? i've never seen this th i've never heard anybody say we're a cult before i mean never in my life so that's Ex a, never once <laughs> yeah never once no uh, that's, no no one uh, there's actually a channel uh, called telltale i really like love the channel like i love the guy but uh, he did a video on veganism being a cult and wait who uh telltale oh no i don't know who that is he's amazing okay but this was like really fucking annoying um to watch this video like it's similar to the alex case for me right now just it's like like wow like i followed this person like uh, i really enjoyed the content and suddenly there's like this big shift in opinion of this really weird stuff being dropped so yeah, yeah it kind of detracts from the credibility of uh people you think are credible um yeah and i think it's it's probably also hard, like for a lot of people who follow uh, who follow Alex's content. I think Sophia said well, well, like really enjoyed Alex's content. Um, it might be really hard to like accept that Alex could like flip flop this hard. Yeah, no, Sophia is like. Uh, it, correct me if I'm wrong, Sophia. You're in the chat still, right? Uh, you were like driven by. Uh alex to make this change right like to, to to be atheist and i think that's the whole soy theist thing is 
like built around that so yeah i do wonder how soytheus is feeling about this because yeah if you're a big fan like i'm trying to think of anyone who like i was deeply upset when they stopped being vegan oh when i heard natalie portman wasn't vegan oh. anymore she uh, was wait that, that, that's actually a thing i don't, didn't know yeah i'm pretty sure i heard like natalie portman wasn't vegan and uh, because i like i have such a huge crush on that woman um yeah, oh damn um so it just like really hurt my feelings i was just like oh man i'm so sorry yeah so it's just like oh because i don't know i don't have a crush on many people but natalie portman damn <laughs> <laughs> so when and that kind of ruined it for me i was like oh man you've ruined it um can i not just enjoy like can i not have one nice thing like um yeah at least we've got pamela anderson it didn't recently she say that she eats animal products or are you you were being trolley right i i saw something I'm just trying to think who else um i don't know i, I don't really get attached to people like who i don't know I find it really hard to there's only a few people who like I crush on if I don't know like don't know them or um you know celebrities who I really like so it's kind of hard for me you know um I love how it's common knowledge in the vegan community that I soytheist adored Alex <laughs> yeah soytheist I'm sorry I feel I feel more heartbroken for for soytheist than for you <laughs> but I don't know for me I just I don't know what it was. I can't explain it, but it's also common knowledge that I always had my doubts and I did just didn't trust about, it about uh... about Alex and his ve like the legitimacy of his um, philosophical beliefs. I about. mean, personally, like one reason I, I wanted to come on is because I'm very much aligned to a position Alex held like a yeah. year ago, and mm -hmm. like I still feel like all the arguments hold to be vegan to be, yeah yeah so i don't know like i know some people like were um writing in the chat like utilitarianism is crap, crap <laughs> um to as a response to that I, I would try not to make this a connection just because alex is like uh going on a tangent but this is the reason but um yeah it's i get i get like um just like even as a utilitarian i feel like more supportive of fresh out deontology because like from a psychological point of view it seems to leave people more likely to stay vegan than utilitarianism because as you said it is there, there are more ways to kind of like wangle your way way around veganism and utilitarianism and if you just are fresh out deontologists you say no can't do this it's easier to process for your mind than to yeah i'd, I'd say yeah definitely more i i feel like it, utilitarianism it, is yeah. just this bloodbath to be honest with you of like <laughs> like between utilitarians and i'm like whoa i'm gonna stay here in my yeah. lovely little threshold deontology corner <laughs> i mean for me as long as this like psychologically fits and you stay vegan i'm i'm happy about it to be honest so yeah i'm gonna stay utilitarian but uh yeah, I don't think I will go uh, non-vegan because of that. I'm way more convinced by it than than not. But. Uh huh. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, like, if yeah, that was the reason you came on. I think, I think it is important because people might think, oh, well, I also believe what Alex believes, so this should lead me to now do what he's doing. Right. Yeah, right. which is not good <laughs> because obviously, if people can influence him to make that that change, then. They could maybe influence. Uh, he could maybe influence them to make the other change. Right, so. right. I think. I think it's like maybe if people are are already were like people who were convinced by Alexa's arguments uh, are seeing his his video. They they might be still like uh, be vegan, but start to reconsider the the position and be like, okay, there might be like good excuses because a person who made good argument is making in quote, quotation marks good ex excuses now and i feel like this is the greatest danger because alex still seems to be somewhat invested in like not supporting factory farming i hope it's just not just to get sympathy sympathy points and mm, yeah. i feel like he's doing a disservice by uh like being so public about like him being being wrong on like um making people activists and yeah, just 
Yeah, I, I just feel it was the wrong way to go go about, it, even yeah. if he still does care about animals the way he did before. Yeah, you're right. It could be it could be lip service because you know even like non vegans who literally pay into factory farming will talk about how they don't support factory farming. It's just like a classic like thing to say. Oh no, I don't support factory farms. Yeah, yeah. And all these non vegans say it. Yeah, all these factory farms yeah. are being <laughs> being funded. It's really interesting. No, yeah, uh, it's, it's yeah. Weird cognitive this dissonance is just massive. Like, like eighty percent of Germany is in favor of banning factory farming, but apparently no one uh, wants to get their asses up to actually ban it. So. This yeah. is amazing. Yeah, th uh, yeah. That's when like the th like the whole welfareism cringe stuff kind of like comes in because it's like, well, if we can get it banned, then uh, <laughs> they're in for a shock. <laughs> like we we ban it, and then they're like, oh, why is the oh, price of my flesh gone up like tenfold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah. <laughs> really... And there's such a big like uh, even in, in politics, like in German, I, I can only speak. Oh, I can actually can also speak for uh, US and UK politics, mm -hmm. but um. At least in German politics, they, they try to like do one veggie day um, a week. Like, and, uh, and, and this was uh, that we, you weren't required to do that in like uh, institutional uh, like areas, it was like for schools or for uh, hospitals. Uh, like, you could even decide to host it or not host it. And this cost that did cost the Green Party their election, just like being, oh, oh my yeah, God. Let's have one vegetarian day a week. Damn! Wow, that, that, that people get that like ass mad about it. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That that's the problem. Like, like when like I, I don't know. I think of like when Greg said, "Oh, we're gonna bring out the a vegan sausage roll." People were boy like say, insisting they were gonna boycott just because they would have a vegan sausage roll. They're still selling corpses. Just the existence, the mere existence of a vegan sausage roll pissed people off enough to like boycott them for a while. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's weird. It's really weird. Like what's going in people? What's going on in people's mind? Like everyone is against factory farming, but then they won't eat a vegan sausage roll. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, yeah, it's the it's the emotional. I, I think you know, as you said earlier, I know like I don't like the entailments of emotivism that I'm hearing. But yeah, we are very like we'll say, oh, something's wrong because we want to like feel like you know, and affirm the identity of someone who wouldn't support something so horrendous. But you know, our actions. Um, you know they have more like a, of a societal ramification like as long as it's socially acceptable and you know if it's socially you're not considered an animal abuser if you pay for the bodies right. of cows chicken pigs then then, then right. that's fine but identity wise you oh you know i wouldn't support factory farming that's so wrong yeah, yeah. just wild but yeah i oh. i don't have too much longer on this google meet before it will warn me that it's going oh, to yeah. expire did um, you have any like final Thoughts? Final words. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just quickly on welfareism, because uh, yeah, like I feel it makes it easier to like ditch veganism and just like uh, play it down. I I would agree. Mm -hmm. um, however, just from my experience, I just know man many vegans who work in welfareism mm -hmm. and just try to make the best lives possible for the animals as long as we do have these industries. So I think it might be still a valid alternative, and especially. Uh, I mean, humane handcuffs. Ha humane handcuffs has more uh, stuff in this than wild animal suffering. It's kind of also welfareist um, ideas which uh, which he spreads. Um, I don't think it's necessarily bad, but we still always, I think, should keep in mind: okay, veganism is the optimum position for animals and the thing we should ultimately strive to do. And everything we can do in our lives and uh, the work in the work we do and um, where we where, where we spend our money on where we donate to we can improve the life the lives of the animals that already suffer and in the best case of course uh, get rid of this industry entirely and yeah I have I have some hopes for the future but yeah I'm I'm kind of it's sad that we have such a backlash in the vegan community right now through Alex but yeah I hope I hope we can gather up all the people who are like flip-flopping right now due to Alex and <laughs> and whack them with a flip-flop that yeah exactly. <laughs> be like, be able... subscribe to being gay <laughs> subscribe to being gay 
just transfer your subscribers from Puzzle yeah just come to me to instead videos. okay i won't let i won't let you down in that way i'll let you down in a hundred other ways but not that way <laughs> oh one final thing can you say yeah. alex has broken my achy breaky heart in german <laughs> um yeah i can um Alex hat mein kleines armes Herz gebrochen. What what they said. <laughs>